Hello everyone, it's H. Rasky here, and we're back with the Crane family. If you want to watch part one, it'll be in the description down below. Her parents don't know what to do with her, honestly, because her mom is not supportive of this at all. Her mom's actually mad. Anger and panic take over Eva's mind as she tries to integrate what she has just learned. Her teenage child pregnant? What sort of madness, what levels of recklessness and irresponsibility plague her daughter. Um, he kind of supports it a little better because he's really close with his daughter and he doesn't want to lose her. Quite the news. Shock takes over Darren's mind as he tries to integrate what he has just learned, but now it's reality and everyone must shake off whatever feelings or judgments they may have and tackle this in an adult manner together and by supporting one another they will figure this out yeah his is much different and as you can tell this family already has three little kids to take care of and she's in her second trimester already oh she got a best case scenario because her dad supported her but then she got the worst case scenario because her mom doesn't support her yeah so these two parents have to decide if they want to let her stay here or kick her out the mom's sleeping it off right now because she's just so stressed over this i think our little brother's scared of something under his bed well i'm sleeping don't come bother me oh my gosh is he coming to bother me he is he woke her up here i'll spray the monster under the bed for you gotta do her older sister duties Oh, she's so mad. The dad tried to cool them down. Let it die down. Everyone go to bed. We'll decide tomorrow. Wake up for your day. I know you're sad. It's gonna be a rough one. Just grab something and go. Maybe a ham sandwich? She's so sad. Oh, never mind. You can't even eat. We gotta go. Gotta go to school. She's so hungry. She's eating for two. She needs to eat. Oh, she brought her ham sandwich with her. Awesome. We'll just zoom in, watch you eat. All sad. Her lip is even quivering. Poor girl. Hey guys, I'm just gonna join you here. You guys doing some homework before class? Bye, gotta go to class. Take exam. Oh gosh, she didn't study or anything. Let's hope she does good on this. Honestly, we don't know what Malcolm's up to or if we're even gonna, you know, talk still. <laughs> but it didn't seem he was too happy, so I feel like we're gonna be ghosted. But who knows, maybe he'll have a change of heart. Hopefully he'll want to be in his kid's life. We're all taking our exams. Should I announce my news of pregnancy to my teacher? I kind of want to. <laughs> oh, she didn't care? We haven't ran into Malcolm yet. Wow, he's skipping school. He doesn't want to see me that bad, huh? Hey, awesome. She's showering now. The bell just rang. She changed into her cheerleading outfit. All right, girl, looking snatched. Sorry I'm late. I just had to shower real quick. Our second exam. Finished. I finished before all y'all. And school's done. Oh, she did pretty well in her exams. Awesome. Ooh, prom is coming. The dance takes place. Oh, we're supposed to go with Malcolm. Are we still going with him? I should probably call him and ask him because it's not looking good for us. We might end up going to prom alone and we don't want to do that. Guys, I have to go to work soon. So I'm painting my nails right now like i did one layer and now i'm doing my second layer because you know playing the sims doesn't involve like too much crazy um movements so it's perfect nora is going through a phase nora is feeling distant and will prefer to be alone for a while oh well i guess that makes sense because her parents are kind of iffy about her right now time to wear black sad because i'm sad you wouldn't understand nobody would understand what is she doing what are those gnomes doing what the heck <laughs> poor girl is crying <laughs> She's having a rough time. It's such a hard life. Let's go travel. Travel with Malcolm. I'm thinking just go to the park. Okay, hey Malcolm. Thank you for showing up. Yeah. Oh look, we're feeling really flirty. Special connection, feeling great. She's really writing in her diary right now. Okay, Malcolm, sit down. We gotta talk. Oh, he's sad. He must be sad because of the pregnancy. I kind of want to see what he thinks. I'm going to add him to the family just so I can see. Oh, it's shared sadness. Ask the baby's due date. What are they doing? Come back out, girl. Now he's sharing a funny video. Okay. Oh, gosh. Ask about pregnancy. I want to see what sh they talk about. You know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories and we'll make many more. I'm sure of it. Nice of you to ask. I'm in my second trimester. I'm okay with having a child. Being pregnant is hard on me. Okay, so it seems like he doesn't mind having a child with her. This is looking promising. 
There's really hope for this little family. Good talk. I'm glad we talked. I'll give you a hug. Goodbye. What the heck? Was that a real hug? Is my game glitched? I don't know. Wait, is my dad here? What the heck? My dad followed me? Okay, let's go both go home. My dad's stalking me. <gasps> okay, I'm scared, guys. My mom is scary. I know you guys are still mad. Oh, I'm gonna go express my thoughts again. Hey, dad. Invite to feel the baby. Is he gonna do it? Oh, he is. Okay. Oh my gosh, my brother lost his first tooth. Okay. Ask for advice. I need some advice. How do I talk to mom? Oh, I didn't want a hug. I'm nervous to talk to her. She's gonna go crazy. Oh my gosh, my mom went to work. I was just about to talk to her. And my brothers are in my room again. They love my room. It's fine. I'm just gonna cry over here. I'm tense. I just need to escape this family from being near family. It's because my brothers are in here. Oh my gosh, Malcolm texted me. I've heard you're pregnant. Aren't you ashamed at your age? The worry you're putting on your parents? You're too irresponsible to be a parent. What the heck? It takes two. Like, it's literally your baby. And we never got a prom dress, but you know what? We'll just wear what we have, so we'll just find something in our closet. I'm sure we have something cute. We're gonna get our prom dress right now. Just picking from our closet. Did you just call me a bum? That's a cute one. Not the color, though. Whoa, fashion statement. Ooh, I kind of like this look. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, I love that color green. It's so gorgeous. And then change her hair into something. What's this one in the back? Ooh, that's pretty. I think we'll go for that look. That's a cute look. Okay, we got our prom dress picked and everything. We're good. I wonder how Malcolm will look. I hope he looks good. Okay, mom, you have to get home. We have to talk. Here's the mom coming in. Oh, Tracy aged up. My baby sister. We'll make her clingy. Why not? Maybe her mom will be a little caring and ask, so how's the pregnancy going right now? They're moving. Oh, they're hugging. Oh my gosh. I'm missing it all. So me and your dad talked, and we honestly think that it's best if you move out. You can't have this baby in this house. It's a disgrace to the family. Like, what the frick? You didn't listen to any of our rules. You're not responsible at all. She's like, I'm tired of hearing your excuses. You gotta move out tonight. She's like, Mom, are you crazy? Where am I gonna go? I have nowhere else to go. It took a turn for real. No win scenario. Why can't they understand? No amount of logic and passion could move your foe. The mom has the same mood lit. <laughs> We're writing in our diary right now how our stupid our mom is. Okay, she's texting Malcolm right now. Malcolm, I have to come over. My mom is kicking me out. Okay, this is his parents' house. Where is he? Does he live here? I'm gonna knock on the door. Oh, it's 4 a.m. Will they even let me in? <gasps> they did. Do you see this house? It's a nice house. Aw, she's crying in the bathroom right now. I hope this is Malcolm's room. We're gonna go to sleep. Hopefully they don't kick me out. Malcolm, this is where you live? I hit jackpot with a boyfriend, huh? We're not dating yet, but, you know, baby daddy. Oh, I'm gonna call for Morgan. I have the go-ahead to invite some friends over for a sleepover. Did you want to come over? Oh, this might save me. Since Malcolm's not even here, we might as well. We're definitely gonna figure out our living situation after the sleepover, but might as well go over, you know, it's prom, get ready at our friend's house. She's a big family. This is a ginormous house. Hey, bestie, what you watching? Where am I going? I'm going to cry in the closet right here. Sounds like she's laughing almost. She's done crying, finally. Oh, pregnancy overload. To some extent, Nora must have gotten used to the physical realities of pregnancy, but whatever might have happened fell apart because it keeps getting worse. Bigger and bigger and harder and harder to ignore. Nora does not feel like herself anymore and can't wait for this to be over. Oh, she's eating with her friend's family. Discuss sad mood. Let's talk about it. Aw, I'm making her cry more. Well, thank you for letting me over because I've been going through a lot. Maybe I should tell her. Have I told her? Announce news of pregnancy. Oh, she's shocked. She's crying almost. What the? Same. I feel that. Like, I'm so sad. Okay, this conversation went south. They're lecturing me now. Can I sleep in her bed with her? Which one's your room? Bye, good night. I have to go to sleep. This is inappropriate. Please stop. What do you mean? I was invited to a sleepover. 
What, is this your bed? Sorry, sir. Malcolm's texting me about it again. He said the same thing earlier. How rude. It's literally his fault. Like, bro, your pull-out game. <laughs> Prom is in three hours, so might as well go on a date now. I want to change his hair. Maybe get he got a haircut. This might work. This is a little better. We're on our own now, but our card is still connected to our parents for now, but I'm sure they're going to take it off soon. But for now, we don't have to worry about the price, and anyways, they're all the same price Mmm, <laughs> lobster roll sounds fire right now. Oh gosh, another comment from Greta. I heard you're pregnant. It's not a good look. Leave me alone. All right, we're getting some food. Yay, let's go eat together. Look at this. Such a cute date. They look so happy. Oh, she's gonna call. Hey, Nora, we're having a little get together before prom. Wanna join? Ooh. Guys, should we join? Is it gonna be fun? We're kind of on a date. But I low-key don't want to, like, isolate myself because, you know, I don't want to be that sim. This is a tough decision. Have quality time with my boyfriend or spend time with some friends and bring my boyfriend as well? I think we're gonna do that. Even though we're gonna have a fire date, but, you know, we can go to the fair anytime. Ooh, what the heck? Where are we, guys? Um, whoa. This is a crazy before prom party. Aw, they're cute. Look at them. They're fighting. Play fighting. Okay, um, um let's... Wait, what did I just say yes to? These random people are literally doing it in the bathroom. What the heck? My sim has to pee and they're in the bathroom. But go pee. This is a cute place though. Okay, are they still doing it in the bathroom? Because I really have to pee, guys. I think they are. Can we knock on the door? Oh, she's going in. Are they still doing it? Oh, she walked out. They're still in there. Guys, I have to pee. Can I pee? Oh, they stopped because of me. I'm like, get out. <laughs> Bro just walked in on me and he's naked and I was looking at his booty. What the heck? Guys, stop walking in on me. Is it really that hard? Adult activities from reacting to sex. Nora got curious and now she has no idea what they've stumbled across. From all that grunting, moaning, and sweat, it can't be good. Oh, we're just gonna hang out in the bathroom now. Offer to woohoo and shower instead of mess around, it's woohoo. <gasps> totally, it's prom. F it. Like, where are you pregnant? Do you wanna have fun with me? Oh yeah, he does. You two cuties, enjoy yourselves. Okay, now it's our turn to have some fun. Ooh, prom is starting, guys. It's time for prom. Get dressed up and rock the dance floor with other high school students. Will you attend? Travel to prom. Yay, we're going to prom. Oh, look, they're dancing. Aww. How cute. He changed again, guys. He ruined it. Oh, he changed back. Okay, good. He hates this music. Really? You don't like this music? I love it. Oh, look, they're both dancing. He's hitting those beats. Okay, she's having a good time. I'm glad. Aw, this is so cute. Aw, the stupid teacher's head is in the way. I'm trying to see them, you know? Oh, she moved after I moved. That's it? You just dance for two seconds. Oh, the ceremony's starting. But we didn't even vote for, um, whatever. We don't care who wins. We're not even popular, so it's not like we're gonna win. Attention, everybody. We have the results for the winners. Wait, did we win? Hold up, pause. We're prom jester. Aw, I do kind of see a baby bump. A little bit, but not really. Oh, he's very angry. Having a really bad time. Oh, he doesn't like the music at all. Come on, don't ruin it. I can't believe she's prom jester. That is cute. Yay! Prom Jester! Yes! She won something! Okay, she grabs some punch. Take a selfie with Malcolm, our date. Oh yeah, I'm Prom Jester. Oh my gosh, he's mad. Can we, like, not be mad? Okay, that's a little cute. Okay. Maybe some happy, funny ones? That's cute. Ooh, I like that one. Yes. Work it, guys. Work it. Ooh, that one's a cute one. Yes! Malcolm, you made prom great. 
Oh, he can't do any of this. Are you for real? And what is this? I kind of want to see that. It's the only thing he can do. Oh, we got silver at least. I haven't really focused too much on it, so. Oh, okay, okay, get it. You two cuties. He's like, congrats on being the prom jester. So proud of you, babe. I might have to cheat his mood because this is ruining our time. Well, it's not really ruining our time, but I wanted to do something exciting and I can't when he's this mad. Hurry, be flirty. Stop being angry. Well, I cheated it, but he's so mad. Oh, prom is complete. Yay, prom's done. A decent night. Okay. We're gonna go to your house. Hey, hey. Oh, ooh, let's keep this party going. Wanna come to the after party? Yeah, with friends, obviously with Malcolm. Oh, look, they're all clapping for me. But look, I'm not even in my fit. We all changed, I guess, but I wanna be in my fit, you know? You know what? Romantic ride with Malcolm. Have fun, lovebirds. It's happening. Wait, 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 wait. It's happening, that's it, the baby's getting born. Oh my gosh. We didn't even prepare or anything because we're a teenager, so we don't really care. Nora had anticipated the cuddle cards to be romantic, but she didn't realize the effect would have on Malcolm. With flushed cheeks and a coy smile, Malcolm looks like he might want to take the next step into a relationship. He closes his eyes and leans towards Nora. Or is he just resting his eyes as he, whatever, from all the sights and sounds of the attraction? Ooh, going for a kiss. You guys, like, literally are having a baby. When Nora leans in closer, Malcolm stretches his arms above his head and yawns. <gasps> he apologizes for falling asleep. <gasps> they got the narrative so wrong. I guess she's in labor right now too oh what the look at her she's really in labor ask to be girlfriend let's do this malcolm oh, yay they're dating she's so happy oh but she's gonna give birth like right now look at her pre-parental panic it's go time there's a new baby on the way a little freak out is understandable but we're gonna have the baby out of hospital. So the ride, he was actually sleeping and he didn't mean to do that to her. It's go time. Is she gonna wear that the whole time? That's hilarious. Oh, look at him. He's like, I'm about to be a dad, everyone. <laughs> Freaking post it on his Instagram story or something. Yeah, you're having a baby. Oh, they got a little heartbeat. Oh, it's a boy! Let's see, Wilson is gonna be the name. Congratulations, the doctor has prepared the birth certificate. <gasps> the baby's right there! Aww, a baby boy. Okay, I'm guessing he just disappeared to, oh my gosh, we never moved out of the household. Aww, he's giving her some love. New baby, the baby's born. It's a relief to not have to deal with a pregnancy anymore, but a great stress to have an unwanted baby to take care of. Baby's here, that's it. Now Nora has a new baby. It's cute, will give a new dynamic to Nora's life. Sometimes change is welcome. Oh, okay, she has a better mind frame. That's crazy, we conceived the baby on Harvest Fest and now we had the baby on prom. Little Wilson land grab. Oh my gosh, guys, I spelled his name wrong. I did a D instead of a B on accident. I am such a genius. We got Wilson land grad. Whatever, we'll just pretend it's land grab. Okay, well, Malcolm, we're gonna live with you wherever you live, so yeah. Aw, such a cute little baby with his little monkey shirt on. All right, guys, this is the life now. We live with his parents, um, we gave birth. We definitely have to purchase some baby things because I already see a diaper on the floor and that's not a good look. We do have a thousand dollars that we did set aside and save, so we can probably spend some of that, but you know, we're probably gonna have to get a job too, or at least Malcolm. And yeah, this is our new life. We're probably going to end it here. In the next episode, we're definitely going to try to get our own place for some privacy, you know. Don't want to live off his parents. And we're going to try to juggle school and we're probably going to have to get a job. Either me or Malcolm. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in my other videos. I appreciate you all. You guys have a great day or night and peace out.